I have been having I've been having conversation about an attention recession once things open up and those online creators are affected. Any thought on this? Uh, I mean, it's been a question that we've spoke. I mean, we spoke on that as well. But I think that it's inevitable to a certain extent that people's attention will be obviously lessened because they'll be able to go out. But there's going to be a lot of people that are still going to be paranoia and traumatized from this whole pandemic that will be home and, you know. But the thing but is, I think this, it's going to balance itself eventually with time. Uh, my opinion is that the depending on how you see, the pandemic was at, at the same time a, a nightmare when your 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 business was being outside and performing. And at the same time, it was an opportunity to collect new customers. So depending on who you collect and what time they are available, a lot of them will stay. They will stick even when things reopen. Because as I see for me, I started a, as body, we started a year and some ago. Uh, and then we already had three confinements. And when everything opened up again uh, here in Portugal and in different parts of the world, some of the people who used to come to the lives, they stopped coming, but some new people came to replace them. And some people, yeah, they just, they still here and they stayed because it's quality content. And you have some other people that instead of watching the live because they work uh, in the morning and they don't have time, they watch in the morning in their cars on their way to, to work or when they're coming back, they, they, they I have a friend, he watch every episode of Club Shadow, he watch half of it on his way to work and the other part on his way back from to, to home. So it's of course it's going to change something and and uh and even us we might not be at home all the time we might have if if we go back to traveling we might not be available available to do live shows every week but i believe that uh some people will f some people found their next uh, business like me for example uh when even like for example portugal is open now i can we can go out uh but yeah, I'm, I'm now I'm used to doing my show on 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 Sunday's night and 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 Wednesday, Wednesday night and I even if everybody's going back to work you you then you see how many people you you kept and how many people are you know and then you will find other people like I said there's two billion people online two billion and those people that are working hard to get new people i stay tuned during the entire event wow hmm. yeah I, I think there's gonna be there's gonna be i think there's gonna there's something interesting because even me i see like for example if i move from my place to go visit my my parent my mother and her partner and you know um you know i tend to either be on spotify or on youtube even if i'm driving yeah. like i'll have it in the background but i'm listening in the car yeah, you know, but it, me I, too. I, I, I think it's definitely going to be part of everybody's life, man. I mean, especially those who are following like Club Shada or Quarantine Grooves or the Offering Gas of Weekend. Like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be part of your everyday. It's not everyday, but it's gonna be part of just what you like to have. You know, it's like your favorite show that you want to check out. So, even if it's the replay, so yeah, yeah. As long as you know, we're not you there can... yet, so we don't know how people are gonna react. But at least for now, that's what we do. Yeah, we, the thing with us is we adapt. We'll find a way. Exactly. Okay. Keisha, you need a home with free <laughs> bathrooms. Uh, yeah. I'm not rich like Body. As you can see, look behind him. One door, two doors. Look at, look at, look at, look at this, look at this. Look at that, look, oof. Look at this. Look at this. These guys that are not affected by pandemic. Yeah, but it's not my house, by the way. But anyway, thank you very much for the congratulations. How long before we can do lives on Spotify? Trust me, they're coming. The content I'm speaking is of a specific... 
is specifically for live producers. Counting is winning is winning either either way. Either or either way. Either way. Yeah, either content way. is okay. content is king, data is queen. It's easier, is e plus it's easier to stream on Apple TV on a platform than from a website. Yeah, that's true about the that's true. The website is safety net. Uh, the website is safety net. What if YouTube or any of those platforms they stop everything, you lose everything. Let's go. That's the mm -hmm. okay. This is the problem, and this is is the that's the balance. True, uh, when you have your own platform. Uh, when I had my own platform and everybody came to my platform, so I had Keisha.com since 96. So by, by 2005, every time I posted something on my platform, I had like thousands of comments on every post and etc. But when Facebook arrived and MySpace and then Facebook, all of a sudden, everybody that would come to my platforms, when I would post the same photo on, on Facebook, and Keisha.com, Keisha.com would have like 10 comments and Facebook would have a thousand comments. And I was like, whoa. So at a point, like everybody, I start moving all the content to Facebook. And then as always, as they do all the time, they start, um, they start, uh, yeah making your when there's too much people on the platform then they start putting the algorithm and then your content is not sh not shown to people but but now the problem is this in the attention economy you have your website but you are fighting with instagram youtube google netflix amazon amazon prime uh, hulu uh, hbo net disney plus twitch etc 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 and all your all your 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 potential viewers themselves are busy creating content editing their own photos etc so it is true that if i if i had the choice i mean i have the choice but if i if i if it made sense uh yeah i would i would stream on my own platform and but if you stream on your own platform, so uh, to give you uh, an, an, an unusual episode of Club Shut Up is, uh, I'm gonna tell you exactly the size of the file, right? A usually episode of Club Shut Up is five gigabyte. So five gigabyte of data that is, everybody that is watching on your, on your website, if, if you have four hours of live, let's say this this festival to stream, those are, those are 16 hours. 16 hours, let's say it's 20 gigabytes. Those 20 gigabytes, you have to pay to upload to your server on your website, right? Then every time somebody is watching, you have one viewer, so you are spending 20 gigabytes. You have two viewers, you are spending 40 gigabytes. You have a hundred viewers, you are spending 2000 gigabytes. And this is the problem, is that on YouTube, I can stay live all night or they can do a festival and they don't pay for the bandwidth, they only pay for their internet connection. So it kind of makes sense that, yeah, they are the ones who, and, and they keep your video there forever so of course the the bad side of this is that yeah you have you're gonna have those people uh if you do something bad or if they decide that they don't want you there they can kick you out but uh then you can take all your content and put in another platform so you can just move you with your community or as long as you play by the rules you're fine. Listen, I've, I had my YouTube channel since uh, 2005 or five or six when YouTube started, and yeah, I never had a strike and, and, and I never had a, um, uh, any issue. Uh, yeah, sometimes there were monetization problems and stuff, but yeah, after a month they 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 find solution because they they have to to work with the users and at the same time with the 
the the advertisers and at the same time with the the, the record labels the movies etc so once you understand the the dynamic there you kind of it kind of makes sense like you imagine the price it would cost you to put quarantine grooves all 100 episodes on your own website and stream from there it costs you a ton of money because you have to pay the amazon uh, and you have to pay like every gig, every every bit that is sent to every viewer <laughs> trust me none of us have the money to do it uh and i remember i had i had that um back in the days i used to host my videos on my own website and i would pay like 200 dollars of of uh of internet just because the people were watching my thing and if you had like a million people watching your thing all of a sudden yeah you have a bill of ten thousand and now all of a sudden you cannot and then you and then you they take your site down the moment youtube arrived i uploaded my videos on youtube and i i put my videos on 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 on, on youtube and I, I embed those those videos on my on my website because <laughs> Uh, yeah 